Let's see here. Nope, that won't work. Of course it won't. What's that? I think it will. I'm not quite sure. Bam, bam, bam. Set this up higher. Oh. Son of a bitch. Okay. Oh. There we go. Yo, tell me if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Uh, if you can hear me, comment below so you can hear me. Yep. All right. Way to start this off. Not too exciting, but uh, it's very, very interesting what I've been going through and what I've been hearing, dealing with, and been around for the past couple of weeks since my last uh, live broadcast. So. Um, Y'all knows, got a haircut a little bit, got a goatee now. I gained like 20 pounds, but it's, it's okay. It's like fat and muscle at the same time, so don't worry. Um, this is my whole outside sunroom set. So it's a little different than uh, my man cave. But so let's get into the topic of uh, Joe Rogan and Dave Ramsey, right? So, these two guys I listen to all the time, and so is my dad, right? So, and this is how we're going to kick it off, because this is what starts off everything. So, we're going to talk about government and politics and, like, stupid shit, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I have my own opinions. I'll try to answer some of your questions or whatever you tell me, and, uh, and then we're going to talk about kids, because I got the funniest shit in the world about kids. Let me tell you right now. Kids are smarter than us. My kids, kids that are five years old, they're smarter than us. We're screwed. We're fucked. That's how it is. We're done for. But to enjoy this conversation, I got my fucking little smoke and I got beer. So, Bush Apple, if you guys are like apple cider fans or, you know, caramel apple fans, it's great taste. I love it. Um, it's only a limited edition. It's very rare. Um, to tell a small story, the beer store right down my house in Hershey, um, the guy has like a whole rack. They only sell them in 30 packs. Well, one day I went there, let's just say like a Tuesday, I bought one 30 pack. I was like, okay, this, this should be lasting me like a week or two, right? So, mm, so good. So, I bought one and then like, I ended up having to go there for like, I mean, four to five days. I had to get extra stuff because I had a huge cornhole tournament at my house and people, you know, wanted some alcohol and I was offering. Well, I said, hey, man. He's like, what's up? I said, where's all the bush apple? He's like, you won't believe it. I'm like, what do you mean? Believe what? A guy from New York came down to Hershey, Pennsylvania to buy 10 30 packs of bush apple gone completely this is how crazy people are nowadays it's absolutely insane i'm sorry if they have bush apple and lebanon i'm not gonna waste my time driving three minutes to go get bush apple i'll just wait for when the time comes or i have ten thousand different beer that i can buy it's you know it doesn't have to be bush apple you just buy different beer nature of the gods <laughs> so let's start off with the Joe Rogan and Dave Ramsey so Joe Rogan 
had someone, and I don't even know who. I'm still trying to figure this out. He had someone on his podcast, and they were talking about the president, uh, candidate, candidate election, and all this other dumb shit. And obviously, it's Trump and Biden. There's probably other people, but I mean, there was this guy uh, last year that he was on a podcast, and his president election campaign was to. Oh, what the hell was his name? It had like a Chinese name to it. I can't remember off the top of my head. But he said that uh, AI trucks, like computerized trucks, would be better than humans being behind the wheel. Obviously, we haven't heard from him. And obviously, I don't remember his name. So that was the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Me and Mike are watching. Oh, yo, let's go, Mike. Nectar of the Gods. Andrew Yang. Yeah, that's his name. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, Andrew Yang. Well, obviously no one knows his name because you probably only know his name because you looked him up or you just remember. But I don't remember his name because that was the dumbest idea I've ever heard of. And there's no, uh, I mean, it might happen, but there's no desire of it happening anytime soon. So, besides the point, Joe Rogan has someone on his podcast. We don't know who. I can't think of who he was. And they were talking about Biden. And Biden, we all seen videos. I've even seen them. I'm not into this whole voting election shit. I got one neighbor over here that says, God, country, guns, Trump. And the other side saying B Biden. Guess what? I went to work today. They told me to get this sign that says, fuck them both, 2020. It's what I'm about to get. Because it's, it's totally, and I'll tell you why. That I feel like that way also. I'll get into more detail about it. So, who else joined? Here, Maggie Nice. So, they were talking about Biden being unhealthy, like mentally unhealthy. We're not calling him a dickhead or anything. You know, that's everyone's opinion. That's probably my opinion too. I, I mean, I wouldn't like the guy if I ever met him, unless you know, like. You know, he's a straight-up guy, but from what I've seen, like, it's not... He doesn't seem like a cool guy to talk to or hang out with. He's sure as hell not smart. You know? Um, he says it and dressed like it and looks like it, you know? But, you know, Joe Rogan was saying that he's mentally unstable. Like, we feel like there's a medical condition for him being the way he kind of is. Because, God forbid, he can't speak certain lines on the screen correctly when he's doing, like, a live, you know, news feed. So, that's all Joe Rogan said, right? This is how crazy people are, and this is why it's so crazy and dangerous just to have anyone in your live video broadcast or whatever. Like, you want to, like, figure out who they are... You want to see, like, what they've been doing or, like, what kind of person they are before you, like, find out that something you didn't find out about them and you talk about it and it flips a switch to where it pisses that person off somehow. And you don't know how people react. Everyone acts, react, everyone reacts differently when they're pissed off. So this guy was like, well, I think Biden's blah, blah, blah. You know, all this good. Joe's like, well, I think Biden is, uh, what? Huh? You see how my pink? Yes, I see your pink. Can you go back upstairs and go to bed, please? No. Go back upstairs and go to bed. I'm down. No. Go back upstairs to your bedroom. Okay. Go to bed. You have your towel. Good night. Love you. Hmm. Sorry about that. So... So they were arguing, and then they settled it. They had an agreement afterwards or whatever. Well, Joe, you know, he, once he settled it, he's done, you know? This guy, which I'm still trying to figure out who it was, decided to ran out and say, oh, you know, Joe did said this, and he believes like this. He's putting words in his mouth, all because he said one small thing about Biden. Just because we don't like Biden or we don't like whoever doesn't mean we don't like the other things that that guy's doing or running for. 
You know, it totally doesn't make any sense. It's what, like, you know, let's say Biden was, you know, Biden's like a terrible dude, right? So I'm just like, okay, I don't like Biden, you know? And he's like, well, I'm running for Canada to, you know, fix the money system that's fucked up in the bank roll and all of that. Okay, cool. I like that, you know? But I hate you, dude. Like, you're, you know, you're not cool. It's just weird. But we have, like, something small and common, like, that agreement, I guess. But some some people don't know how to hang on to that, you know? It's, it's just very weird. Once people get mad at you just the way you look, you know, sound like everything else, they don't understand the whole other, you know, 70% of your nature and everything else. So then there was, like, this huge thing on Spotify, and guess what, dude? Joe Rogan ain't going anywhere. None of these podcast people are, man. They make, they paid Joe Rogan like a hundred million dollars for his podcast to be on Spotify. And Spotify, the people that are in charge of Spotify would like take care of it, you know, put in the bleeps and blots and whatever. They will do all of it. Along with Dave Ramsey. I just watched a video. The guy is a genius. If you guys don't know who he is, look him up. He's like a bald dude. I think he has like a goatee or a beard. Um, and he wears glasses. And he's just a really smart dude. He talks about bank systems, the money, all the numbers and everything. But besides that, I guess he... Uh, or the video I saw, he explains that these companies all over the world are getting screwed. Everyone's getting screwed. It's just shitty. It really is. It sucks for everyone. Everyone's getting screwed, especially for these companies, especially like people that are local around here, and I feel so sad for them. You know, it just sucks. Like, they have to listen to these leaders, and literally like 8% of them are just stupid, dumb, make no sense, or the lying, stupid, sack of shits. And the other 20%, well, we need those guys to, you know... Teach other people to be like them and increase that 20% to, you know, a higher number of great leaders. A bunch of companies use this thing called like a SDPA or, or SGPA or something like that. I forget what the abbreviation letters are. But it's basically the DMV for the government. And what was being told is that these companies were being told, look... Get a loan from the bank, and we'll pay the bank. And then, you know, the bank's like asking the government, okay, we get the loans out to these companies, you'll pay us, right? And they're like, yeah. And then, like, a whole month's gone by. This is, there was like 35,000 companies, right? SBA. So, SBA, that's, the whole, that's like the DMV for the government. So, like 35,000 companies use this, right? They got a loan, right? And this is where we're going to get into talking about the numbers and all this crazy shit. 35,000 companies. Imagine how much money these banks have given out loans. Fake numbers. Right? Bank has it. Bank doesn't have it. It doesn't matter. The money is being paid. But by whom is the main concern? Where is the money actually coming from? The government was like, okay, we'll pay for it. Weeks, months gone by. Hey, government, where's our money? Oh, we can't, we can't pay it for it right now. What the fuck you mean you can't pay for it? Well, just just put it on hold. Well, banks are a company too. They can't put that shit on hold. As weird as the system runs, because the system's still fucked up, they want their money. Whether it's 5 10 15 fucking dollars. Whether it's, you know, a certain amount of money. So now these, co- these guys who run these companies... <laughs> What's up, Ashley? So, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I'm pretty sure he really appreciates that. Hmm. So, what was I looking at? So, the banks, right? So, now the banks are going to these, you know, company owners and they're like, I trained them well. <laughs> Yes, master. Yes, master. So, um, 
So the bank goes to these guys, the, the company owners, and they're like, hey, man, so the government didn't pay us, so you got to pay us. And now they're all sitting there confused. Because I don't think there was any contract. I don't think there was, like, any... I mean, there probably was. There was, like, a small sign-up thing or whatever that they had to do through the bank. And that was through the bank, but not through the government. So now they have nothing against the government. So now it's like... Okay, is the government actually going to help out and pay or not? Like, so speaking of this whole money thing too, right? So all these loans are given out. Loans aren't just given out. Like, I'm not going to give you $35,000. Hey, you got to pay me $35,000 for six years. Or six, yeah, six years. Now, the game is that people want to earn money, extra money. Whether it's small now and or big now or, you know, small later, big later. It, it, it's totally different credit unions <laughs> so just everywhere man everywhere so like credit unions members first man i'm telling you dude like we came to ask this question i me and my dad were talking imagine members first right it's one bank right but there's like i'm gonna say thirty-five thousand of those you know buildings just all over the world right there's probably just a hundred or, you know, one to five hundred just in Pennsylvania. Who knows? It's a huge ass state. There's other huge ass states. You know, small cities, big cities. Hell, in big cities, I see five McDonald's. So why would I not see five members first? You know, it all depends. Ooh, excuse me. But the point is, is that imagine... 35,000 members first buildings had one customer come in and get, let's just say a $10,000 loan with a 5% interest rate. So you do the math. It's like after, after five years, you'd be paying the company like an extra like $5,000, right? So, or right around there. So, um, then you divide that by 12, like that's how much they're making extra a month, right? So, or no, you take that 5,000 for five years, right? You divide that by five, which becomes a thousand, divide that by 12, fucking, yeah, 1,200. It's like a little bit less than a hundred dollars, right? So that's a little bit less than a hundred dollars. So let's just say it's close to a hundred dollars for 35,000 like people, because there's 35,000 different buildings and one of those people got it. So imagine what that building that the bank actually makes, makes 35,000. No, if you were paying 100 and there's 35,000 people, there would be $350,000 that that bank, that company, Members First, makes in a month just off interest of all these people. And that's just 35,000 people, one person to that building. Imagine how many people actually go to these goddamn buildings. It's a lot of fucking money. It's stupid amount. Whether it goes to them, whether it goes to taxes, whether it goes to fucking some weird shit. It's weird how the system works. It's I feel like it's made up money. And it's just, it's the shit that they come up with. There's like 10 mentions firms on every block in the big cities. Illegal money. Money launders. All over the place. Exactly. It's, and dude, it's, it's a whole fuck up system. It's like this past weekend. I was going to bet on the Eagles, right? I was going to bet 20 bucks. So I was going to win 40. It was just a double prize. So, but Eagles tied. So whoever bet on the Eagles and then whoever bet on the Bengals... That money goes to the house. It's very, it, dude, it's just a rare amount. But, like, the house does get a certain amount of money. That's why they have odds and everything. There's, it's just weird numbers, man. It's just, sometimes it's bullshit. Sometimes it's actually there and makes sense. And sometimes it's like, okay, where the fuck did this come from? Like, it's make-believe. I had to tell someone, I or I'm not going to say who, but I had to tell someone. So, oh man, it's so good. So, they have a credit card, right? 
they have to pay, let's just say $1,000, right? So they have to pay 30 bucks a month, okay? That's including their interest, which is like 9%, right? It doesn't matter when it gets paid, that's the payment for a month. 30 bucks a month. Sometimes they'll miss out or skip it because people don't ask because it's credit cards. Not all alone, not not alone. It's just a credit card. And you won't know when it's going to get paid off. You think, oh, man, it'll be paid off next, next October 1st, you know? No. It doesn't get paid off till like two more years because that's how they get you. With a small interest or whatever, whatever they get you into, they will have you keep paying longer so that way they can make more money. So when they say, okay, 30 bucks a month, 9% interest rate, okay? But that'll be done in a year. If they lower it down to 5% interest rate and lower your money somehow to where it's like, okay, you'll pay in two years, they'll make their money still or more. It's weird how the game, like the game system works. Let's see how all over this. If Cheese kicked that field goal, I had a two-way parlay on that game. Well, that's a crazy bet. Hey, Jamie, how's it going? So, the 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 whole money thing, it, it's absolutely insane. This is like this we were talking about. So I have Geico. I use my military, you know, plan. I get discount, whatever. I'm 23 years old. I have two cars, right? So and with all the accidents and everything, I pay a ridiculous amount a month. Trust me, it's stupid. Like, it's absolutely insane. But there's so many different scenarios. You can look at another dude who's my age with the same accidents, but by himself, he's paying less. You have another dude that's like me, who um, has less accidents with the wife, less accidents, and they're paying less. But if that dude is, say he has like three cars and then has his wife on it and they're both under the age of 25 because 25 is apparently the magical number for a lower insurance number and rate, it becomes more. It makes no sense. It's absolutely insane. Because of one extra car or is it because of, you know, you have two people and three cars. Okay, who else is going to be driving? You know, like, it makes no total sense at all. It, it the whole, the whole system gets complicated. It's like one time, I remember, I believe I was using a coupon, Right? I was using some kind of coupon or some like discount or whatever, but I had like a specific date on it. But in literally, like you see this huge ass coupon, right? It's a big ass thing, and you see in just little tiny letters. It's readable, but it's like super small. They'll be like, um, "This does not apply to this," or "This is you know, this is not the accurate system that may require upon." 25% of most people or depending on their credit scores like that's not how that works like You know, the, why would you put it in small letters? But that's the game. They don't think people are gonna see that most people don't they don't but I've learned I've screwed up so much already from The moment I turned 18 to now I'm 23. So what five years? I've screwed up a lot. I've signed shit. I fucking fucked up shit. I got a credit card I mean, have I been making payments? Hell yeah. But it's the most shittiest thing I've ever gotten. I like croutons. So, hold on.
Alright, time to return. Sorry. Had to go do some stuff. So. It's funny the view I got from here. I can see my neighbor's like a little basement window. Because they don't have a block. And they're obviously watching Trump speak. And from what I heard about that yesterday. That was kind of funny. So I never. I never actually watch that debate and everything but all I heard yesterday was that it was like two babies just trying to run for candidate and I thought to myself well is it like two babies running for candidate or is it like both of my daughters like just arguing they're like yeah it's both your daughters arguing I said okay so this is a normal daily typical bullshit that we deal with every day well for most of us anyways but I mean it's just how it just is what it is. It's it's how it works, you know. <laughs> Dave Ramsey also said that uh, of all ages, ninety nine percent of the people survived COVID nineteen. I came to retrace, you know, the past of you know we, when we well I was just thinking about way back then when we originally had the flu, you know when we originally. Um, we originally had the flu, we had chicken pox, we had swine flu, we had H1M1, like, it's absolutely insane, it absolutely is, I kept thinking about, we were, you know, I was talking about, like, Baltimore Ravens, right, so, the, you know, it's, it's the dumbest thing when you have to switch a football team, um, name to... A football team, which is, is so dumb, but it's so stupid how you gotta do that because their name is racist or something like that. First off, let's get real, okay? Um, the Redskins, it was given to the idea of them by an Indian, like they all have different meanings. So let's go to the Baltimore Ravens. What do you all think Baltimore was named Ravens for? Have you all heard of Edgar Allan Poe? The Raven? Not just that. That's the birds. Ravens are normally in Baltimore, Maryland. Same with Philadelphia. We have Eagles. Baltimore has Ravens. You know? Apparently, Detroit has Lions. That don't make sense. I don't know what their name was for anyways, but... But let's go on to that. So, Edgar Allan Poe, like, I, I couldn't even remember the year. But, dude, like, he died at, like... I don't want to say, like, in his 40s or before 40. Because back then, you were, like, you... You were surprised to live to 50 to 60. Now we're super surprised that we see people live to 100. A certain amount of people. And people live to 80. But, you know, it, you know, death is inevitable. It is. It sucks. It is. It's terrible. It's a very terrible thing that happens. You know? I keep telling everyone. I even tell my family. Today might be the day. Tomorrow might be the day. No one knows. The worst part about it is that you don't know when it happens and it's going to suck when you know about it or when it's a surprise. When you prepare for it, it still sucks, but it's kind of better, a little bit. Depends on certain people. 99% of all ages of every single person in the United States of America have survived this shit. Think about all the other viruses. All the other shit we're still fighting. I don't understand how I see people going to bowling alleys, not wearing masks, right? So I'm like, oh, maybe you don't have to wear a mask when you go to bowling alley. So I call my buddy up. Hey, dude, what's up? Uh, what's up, man? What's going on? Hey, dude, just wondering. Do you have to wear a mask when you go to bowling alley? Yeah. Well, what do you mean? Yeah, I just saw you not wear a mask. Hold on.
comfortable. Let me get first here. Go, go to bed. The moment you don't go to bed, I'm going to smack you. You understand? Know and you won't go to bed your games. Go to bed. Gotta love kids, right? This is why we're having that conversation about them today as well. So, back to the conversation with my buddy. Well, I saw you wearing a mask at the bowling alley, man. Yeah, well, or I saw you not wearing a mask at the bowling alley. Well, no, I wasn't wearing a mask in our lane. I said, okay. Yeah, but when you walk in, you have to wear a mask. When you go up to the register, whenever you go get food, or whenever you go get beer. But when you go to your lane, you're cool. Dude, people not understand science, specific science, the oxygen in the air, the shit you breathe. Why do you think certain states are being stupid strict about, you know, finding people when Wolf was trying to fucking do this? Well, guess what, bro? You fucking failed. You want to know why? Because you're dumb enough to do all the other dumb shit first and then try to do even worse shit. The shit is all over the world. It's in the oxygen. It's in the air. Our air is not the best. Apparently it was when no one was driving. Obviously when no one's driving, the fucking carbon monoxide fucking goes down because of fucking no cars running. But fucking, like crying out loud, man. Like seriously. If I'm in this building, oxygen goes in, oxygen goes out, Air goes in, air goes out, whatever. I'm in this building. Every breath that I take that goes out into this air, into this concealed building, even though the door's open, you know, every minute, 30 seconds, or 5 minutes, 10 minutes, my breath, my oxygen of air that has been in through my body and out has gone through this whole entire freaking concealed place. What difference does it make when I go up there and I'm six feet away? Makes no difference, right? You're in a concealed place. You're better off outside because sunlight and other crazy shit apparently kills the chemicals better. It's like my work. I don't understand why I have to wear a mask when I'm near or around someone, whether I want to or not. Around them, to be around them, I have to wear a mask while I'm outside. It makes no sense. You're outside. Oxygen runs through the system. It's simple science, man. It's simple. I forget. Trust me, I forget most shit in high school. Trust me, most people do. High school, you know, you go there, you learn, you get ready to fucking graduate, and then it sucks when you go in the real world and do real, real bullshit. Unless you're giving shit, unless you actually worked hard to go through shit, and now you're fucking successful. But, whoopie-doo. So, what? You still didn't, like, actually learn some shit? Dude, I fucking sucked at reading. I, I was terrible in English. I failed English in 10th grade. I still know Edgar Allan Poe. I still know certain shit. It's just my dumb leaders at the time, and the people I was with, and the person I was... Wasn't the greatest, so I sucked at English, and I failed myself, and, you know, people have also, you know, failed for me. But it's, it is what it is. That's another thing about this world, just to get a little off subject. People blame. People blame. 99.9% of people blame. I fucking blame. I always do. Just dumb shit, but, I mean, I blame. But people blame over the dumbest shit. Also, you got to take responsibility. It's not just you. You think, okay, this fucking kid in high school, let's get a little bit into football. This kid's a wide receiver, right? He's worked hard. He's a great athlete, whatever. He's a junior playing, you know, um, high school Friday night. You know, he's getting ready to, you know, get scouts out for next year. All this other crazy shit, you know. Um, but... These past, like, week or two or three, like, he hasn't been working hard, but the coaches haven't been saying shit because they think, oh, man, this guy's been catching balls all fucking year, man. He might be good. He gets the worst record of his life that game. Looked like a player that just started playing wide receiver. 
It all depends. And then when you're the person, like the coach, that's so like, hey, man, you got to run these drills. You got to do this. You got to do that. And then, you know, they're, they're going to have their cocky attitude. They're going to have their ego. Everyone fucking has it. Well, most people do anyways. I can't say everyone. Everyone's different. So most people. Most people do. And they're like, no, coach, I got this. I'm good. I'm good. But you don't know what they're doing at night. You don't know they're going out smoking pot. You don't know what they're going to do, go out drinking. You never know they're going to go out partying. You never know they're only going to get two hours of sleep every night. It's absolutely insane, man. You can't just blame other people. You can't. It sucks when it comes to that. When it's their fault. But you also got to take, whether it is 10, 5, or 1%, a little bit of responsibility. You have to take a little bit of it. What could you have done differently? You sit there and think about it. It's like when I go to punish my kids or my dog. I sit there and I think about it. I'm like, look, okay, what did I do wrong? Did I yell too loud? Did I scare them? Did I have a mean, ugly looking face like the freaking Grinch? You got to always think about everything that you've done and you got to process it. You got to understand, well, okay, what could you have done differently? What could you have changed? Could you go back and do it? Fuck, no, you can't. But you can learn from it or you could change it in a different way through the future. Different times, whether it's a day, 30 minutes, a day, hours, weeks, months, years, it changes. And I, that's what's the problem with the government. They're not taking blame for shit. There's a video I have now. If you all want it, just let me know. Message me in my Facebook Messenger. There's a video of... Oh, I forget. It's like the center or something check whatever and governor wolf and they're sitting there saying that hey i'm gonna take my mask off i'm only keeping my mask on for the production thing it sucks you don't see them saying it because the camera's already set and still and they haven't restarted like they haven't actually started recording the whole thing someone caught them got them on the vocal mic That's another thing that sucks about proof. The fact of hearing it but not seeing it. <sighs> this world has gone this shit. It has. It's fucking insane. I don't know what's going to happen after the election. I really don't. Do I care? Fuck no, I don't fucking care. Am I still going to go to same, work every fucking, you know, same time, different day, same day? Hell yeah. Same paycheck, more, overtime. Yeah. Come home to the three most beautiful kids I love. Yeah. Come home to my wife. Yeah. Unless she leaves me, which I don't think that's going to happen. But come home to my dog. Unless she runs away too. Yeah, I'll see them. It's the same fucking day I'll go through. All the fucking time. Whatever happens, happens. You know, there's a lot of shit I can say about the leadership right now, especially like the moments where I was in the Marine Corps. Um, whoever your like certain leader was, it depended on how your your situation, your life, depending on in your whole command's gonna be. It changes. When Trump was our president, though, I didn't see shit. I was this low. Guys that were this high are probably didn't see shit either. People that were probably this high, I mean, they probably heard, saw some shit of Trump, but they don't let us know shit. That's how it is. And then these guys hear shit, they tell these guys minimum, these guys tell us minimum, and they're like, hey, go straight and fucking shoot. Okay. What are you going to do? Fucking challenge everyone, level by level? fucking start killing your brain and your fucking body just thinking about it and doing all that shit. It's a waste of time. It 
It's absolutely insane. How our world has come. I listened to Joe Rogan post Malone, right? Four fucking hours he talked. Craziest podcast I've ever listened to. This this goes on about the world and government and whatnot. So, by imaginative raise of hands, I'm pretty sure most of my friends on Facebook who know KISS, or at least heard of KISS, are fans of KISS, or fans of one or two of their songs. Right? I just know KISS. I love their songs. Right? Turns out, and I didn't fucking know this, back then, if you're a fan of KISS, people, certain, like, people would hate you, depending where you were at, and they would call you, call you like a Satan, or a Satan child, or the devil. Till this, till right now, I can't think of it, but, people, like, the word KISS, used to stand for night, in something Satan. And they used to think the fucking guy with the tongue, the long ass tongue, was the goddamn devil. Or the devil's like worshiper or something like that. What the fuck, man? Absolutely crazy. I mean, back then, I don't know what it was like. I wasn't fucking born. I was born in fucking 97. But imagine, like... Absolutely, if I was the, if I was there back then, like that shit was fucking insane. 40, 50 years later, everyone's a fucking Kiss fan. Everyone loves Kiss. Kiss is fucking amazing. The shit keeps changing. It's gonna be. This whole fucking COVID shit, it's not gonna last. It really isn't. When is it gonna end? Who fucking knows? Who really fucking knows? It's going to suck. It really is. Hopefully it ends soon. I really do. But you know what? Best advice to you is just... You got to keep your fucking head up. And you just got to like... Do your thing. But still be rebellious. You know? <sighs> nice quiet night. Don't have to hear people chanting. Don't have to people f hear people flipping out. All this other shit. But I think that ends my conversation about the government. Because I can't... I can't sit here and talk about it and think about it. Because I'm not a fucking fan of it. I'm not. I joined the military to serve and be proud. And fucking... I was hopefully, you know, to fucking shoot at... Someone across the fucking line, but I mean, sucks to suck. Didn't get to do it. I enjoyed my time though. Government is trying to control. That's the question. Who doesn't love control? Let's, like, let's just be honest. Whether you have a fucking dog, whether you have a rat, cat in your house, kids. Kids, you just feel like you're leading them in the right way, but it's still in a control sense of way. Who doesn't love the control? Honestly. But people get out of hand about it. It's like playing fucking video games. You sit there and you're in control of the controller. It's you and the controller. You're the ones that, are, that is in control of it. You can't tell the controller what to do. The controller can't do its own fucking thing. You are in control. How you act when you control the controller is on you. Whether you throw it, or you just smash it down on the ground, or you just put it down hard and gently and walk away. Very rare. It is very, very rare. People love control. It's absolutely, it, it's, it's another fucking addiction. It is absolutely another addiction. I would 100% agree with it. People are addicted to control. I have control in some case scenarios that you can think of. Do I hate it? Fuck yeah, I do. I personally hate it. That shit you know, I hate telling my kids what to do. 
But then again, I wish they understood and knew what they were supposed to do and knew what they're not supposed to do and, you know, but still have them in my household because I love them and can't let them go quite yet, you know? But I wish I didn't have to fucking be a, con like, a controllative leader. Like, I wish I didn't have that power, you know? It's absolutely nuts. When I had my fucking first daughter, it wasn't like that at all. I said, yep, she puked. Okay, she puked. Whatever, you know? Oh, yeah, she grabbed my fucking PS4 controller. I'll go to fucking GameStop and buy another one. Till I learned that it leads to certain actions that no human being should be doing. But that's us as parents and leaders to do that for our children. For people, other people that are being raised, right? Control. It's an addiction. It's fucking strong. It's a very strong addiction. People drink alcohol because it makes them feel powerful to actually have control. Well, people who abuse alcohol anyways, or smoking, or, you know, weed, or whatever. People use it. People find other things to do to have a grip of something. Absolutely nuts. Government likes to control people because it gives them that mental satisfaction and power that they can go home at night and not do what the fuck they're telling other people to do. How stupid is that? How is that fair? Our Ten Amendments don't mean shit. Why doesn't it? It was created by one of the fucking greatest men's, greatest men of all time who fucking started our civilization back in 1776. Not just that, the Marine Corps was born before that. 1775, the Marine Corps was born. Before the fucking, you know, Ten Amendments, we still had respect at the time. Yeah, we have fucking names, we have our codes, we have our fucking other crazy shit that people say good and bad about Marines. Or the Marine Corps specifically. But remember, we were, we were born in 1775. So when the ship was set up in 1776, we still disobeyed and, you know... So followed command and did all that other crazy shit. Because we have respect. Why doesn't everybody? Why can't everyone be like that? Come back to control and leadership. All depends who you have. I bet a lot of people have changed because of this. Because of this whole fucking COVID. Whether it become alcoholics, drug addicts, OCD, ADHD, fucking smoking so much fucking vape. I have it. I'm fucking, I smoke it because I enjoy the flavors and I chill out with it. Fucking people punching walls because they think it's fun. It's absolutely nuts. It's absolutely crazy. But that is it for the government. Now, for the kids. God forbid. I love my kids. I love kids in general. Okay? Um, but I've been waiting to get into this conversation because this probably makes me... There, there's going to be an argument and then there's going to be a positive thing about it. So I, I love my kids and I love kids, especially when they're awesome. Right? So... I come across just thinking about how kids are so smart. My oldest is three years old, and she has this tablet thing, right? Not an actual tablet. 
Okay, it's like a twenty dollar tablet. It works. It's fine. We have some, you know, stuff on parental control. My other daughter has a tablet too, but she doesn't like it. She's not a big fan of it yet because she's like two years old, so she's not quite there yet. Turns out that tablet we didn't parental control it. So. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, it's so funny. My daughter is so fucking smart. Because she knows where YouTube is. She knows, like, where her apps are at. She knows what to do on them and everything. My daughter comes around. Like a kid's video. On YouTube. And she found, like, My Little Ponies doing some fucked up shit. She's so goddamn smart, too. And she knew something was wrong, so she went to her mother, my wife, and said, Mommy, something's wrong. And it shows a bunch, you know. My wife fucking deleted it, right? So, so messed up. That is so wrong on us. But it is funny at the same time. And it is absolutely amazing how smart she was to realize that was bad. And she gave it to, you know, her mom. Absolutely amazing. Drives me nuts. It was like my daughter sitting there explaining things to me. Where she's telling me what to do, right? So I'll sit there and mess with her. And I'll go like this. Like, I'll be like, you want to fight? You want to fight? She want to mess with me. She's like, Daddy, no. You're not allowed to punch me. I'm like, what do you mean I'm not allowed to punch you? I said, if we're going to fight, we're going to fight. She's like, no, because what's going to happen, Daddy, is that if you hit me, my head's going to hit this wall, and I'm going to fall down, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I, I can't say it with a straight face. That is funny as shit. The, the ideas that kids come up with, the, the mental strategy and how they see things and plan things out, whether it's present or future. Hell, even past, they see weird shit. It's funny what they say and do. It's freaking hilarious. But you want to know what else is hilarious and kind of crazy too? It came by a truck, right? We all have iPhones now. The world's just getting better with the phones, the whole fucking systems, right? And you got fucking laptops, you're gonna type and everything. So, I drive on this road back home, and I see this truck. And it has a number on it. It was like, blah, 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 blah. Like, 283 Heat. Right? 283 Heat. Guess it was a heating company. <laughs> so, luckily, below it, it actually had the number for heat. Right? So, what is that? That's 43... One, let's see, eight, four, three, one, eight, right? Are the kids going to learn this in school? Because to be honest, from what I remember in school, I didn't learn numerical shit with alphabetical shit at all. We all learned it because we had a stupid phone called the Nokia or like some kind of flip phone that allowed numbers to be letters and you had to click on it and learn it. You know kids won't know what uh, buying minutes just to text people will be like. They will never understand that. They will never know that. How insane is that? I remember getting yelled at because I was on the phone for five minutes. Five minutes! I talk to my dad for two hours most nights, and when I make these videos or whatever, I'm on here for like an hour to two hours. 
Absolutely insane. It's crazy. Kid raises his hand in school. Teacher's like, yes, Jordan. Jordan says, uh, so I saw a car that says 238 Heat. Is, is he supposed to be like the other four digits of the number? Well, yes, Jordan. The four is GHR. He's like, okay, well, what's, what's E? E is one. One is, or E is two. Two is D, E, F. They're going to sit there so confused in school. It's going to be absolutely insane. So the question is, why are companies still doing this? Why are they still putting the letters and then like acting like it's numbers? Will kids be smart to know? Yeah, I, I hope so. On our iPhones, when you type in the number, yeah, they still got the letters there. But I'll be honest, I never, you don't look at that shit. You, when you text someone, you don't use the goddamn phone dial when you text someone. You actually have like a keyboard on your phone now and you can text them. You don't have numbers. You don't have to press one three times and fucking six like twice. You know? It's absolutely insane. Kids will learn it or not learn it, and then they'll get either confused or they will learn it. And it's crazy because that company isn't the only one. There's more, and there will be possibly more that will be doing that. Or like when you see a commercial, 1-800-fucking-GEICO. What are the numbers? Well, I don't know. It's absolutely nuts. It's like some of us who were born in the 90s. We don't understand what it was like in the 70s. Honestly, look at what I just told you about Kiss. You were a Kiss fan back then. You would fucking get punched in the face or you'd be going to detention or some dumb shit like that. Or you'd go to church and get sprayed holy water and, you know... Being sat or uh, being Christianized because you were part of the devil's worshippers or some shit. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. Fucking crazy. That's crazy. It's like this whole COVID shit. You know? People make it worse for themselves too. Back to the leadership. You know, Governor Wolf, Pennsylvania, our leader. What's going to happen when he, you know, dies? You know, where would the fucking case might happen? What happens if he does? He has lost so much interest in so many people. And the people that cared about him for the small details that he said or done. And they don't, you know, they both don't think about each other. These people don't think about Wolf. Wolf don't think about these people anymore. You're going to be a loner. Unless you're your family. But then unless your family don't like you either. How does that work? Chris Kyle. Greatest fucking, one of the greatest fucking Navy SEALs out there. So amazing what he did in his life. He created a book, and that book about his life and his journeys became a movie. Directed and produced very accurately, but who knows. Had a great actor and great, you know... Actors and actresses, you know, great studio and everything. But that man had so many people at his funeral. The whole bridge was fucking, the whole highway was closed for that man. A respectable leader, a great fucking leader, a great warrior, and probably a fucking outstanding dude. Just don't be on his fucking bad side. 
I've heard stories about that too. Besides that, a fucking outstanding guy. He had a lot, he had a whole fucking bridge or a whole highway closed for him. What about these other leaders? Or their retirement? Or some other shit? Whether these leaders want it or not, whether these people want to go to it or not, those signs, that satisfaction, that spirit, that faith, is what keeps people united, is what keeps people happy, it gives them a positive attitude to look forward or look up to someone and learn from that. To progress in life and become that better version. I want to buy a house so bad. I want to. I'm working on getting my CDL permit. I'm going to get my license. You know. Maybe that ain't the road for me either. Maybe I'm going to do something that's going to make, it's going to turn out for me to get more money, whatever. Maybe I'm going to hit jackpot. Who knows? Point is, I was looking at a house for next year. Just to settle. Relax. I'm 23. Let's be 24 in January. It's crazy how you should buy a house at a young age, but it's true. You should. It's absolutely nuts. Back then, it wouldn't matter. I would have only 20 more years to fucking live. I'm luckily, 30 back then. Now, I could possibly look looking at, to, you know, living at 100. Keep telling my wife that. I said, every time I go to the Chinese buffet or go to Chinese food, I'm going to eat that special shit, that special shit that Chinese people eat. I'm going to live to about 100. I'll be a monk by the time I'm 90. That's how it's going to be. It's absolutely insane. It is. That I would have to buy a house at a young age. Just to pay it off. If I'm doing everything the right way. By the time I'm 50. It's absolutely nuts man. It's absolutely nuts. But next year it's going to be shit. You want to know why? All this money. All this shit that's gone. Given out from banks to companies. Government not paying the bank. So then they asking these people to pay the bank. And these people aren't making money. Because they're being told by the government. They only have 50% of people in their fucking belly. It is absolutely dumb. How they can be controlling people's shit and lives, but they can't also help them. It's a coward move. It's a stab in the fucking back or the side. I couldn't do that to anyone. I want to say it pissed me off really badly. But I couldn't do that to anyone. Why do you think most people rebel? Why do you think when this whole shit started, people weren't wearing masks? It's because it's dumb shit that is stupidly not fully success like successfully proven in a way that we can actually see it. How sad is it enough to hear that our governor of the state of Pennsylvania got denied by the federal court? Well, that just makes you a total city leader. Because you can't do your fucking job. Whether it was the right thing to do or whether it was wrong. 
whether those federal courts were looking at you as a dumbass or looking at us saying, okay, well, maybe this guy is just fucking screwing us. It's absolutely nuts. It's crazy. And you know what? I'm here all the time. For someone who needs to fucking talk about some crazy ass shit, I'm fucking here. You want to do a live fucking broadcast, I'm totally here. I'm setting up my own podcast studio, hopefully by the beginning of next year. I'm trying to save up some money. There's already a little basement studio that uh, is at a house that I know where to go. I just need to buy the mics to set up the laptops, all that. I'll be sending my shit out there. I'll be sending it worldwide. If people are allowed to say shit, then you know what? I'm allowed to say shit. You guys are allowed to say shit, too. So if you're more than welcome to wanting to join my live broadcast, whether it's, you know, through your phone or whether it's here at my house or where it's somewhere else, I'm more than likely welcome to do that. I have a blast. I love talking. I can start a conversation. I'm not an angry guy. I'll talk to you about it. I'll talk with you with it, you know. Work it out. You like guns? I like guns too. Do I fucking own them? No. I'll take someone else's gun and fucking shoot the guy who's trying to murder my fucking house, you know. <sighs> Just how it is. I'll do it. I'm a cool dude. That's how it is. Another thing before my go, speaking of kids' imaginaries, right? Imagine, you know, imaginations. So my daughter sits there, and she like runs into her bedroom and then like hits her side on the bed, right? So I'm like, "You okay, baby?" She's like, "Yeah." I said, I "So do you got super speed?" She's like, "No." I said, "Well, do you got any superpowers?" She's like, "Yeah, I got, I got Anna's powers." I said, "You mean Elsa?" So like, yeah, I go, Shh. and then she goes to her Elsa doll, and she's raising her hand, the doll's like this, and my daughter raises her hand, she's like, yeah, daddy, she goes, shush, she like, put you, she'll put you in nice, look what she says, and she presses a button, and the Elsa doll's like, do you want to see what my magical powers can do? <laughs> it's fucking funny. Oh, man, it's freaking hilarious. So I sit there, I'm like, so what powers does Anna have? It's like, I don't know. Of course you don't know. She don't have any fucking powers. <laughs> Besides, she's a nagging little sister. Just like her sister. Her sister's Anna, and she's Elsa. Elsa just wants to do her own thing, and Anna just wants to be up Elsa's butt. God, I love it. God, I love it. That ends my uh, live broadcast for tonight. Uh, I didn't see much questions. I just see people commenting about government being controlled and, um, you know, money lucratives. What else was the comments about? I'll grab my phone here. A couple of people joined. I'm glad most people joined. Uh, yep, me or Mike watching, just people watching. And, yeah, that's about it. So, again, thank you so much for people who did decide to watch, whether it was 5 seconds, 10 seconds, whether you looked at it and you decided to leave. I appreciate you watching. Again, if you decide to watch this video later on or you send it out to people, either you or someone else, let me know if you guys want to join. We'll sit down and talk. We'll have a cool chat. Again, like I said, I'm planning on setting up my podcast slash live broad live broadcast. Um, hopefully by beginning of next year, January February. Looking forward to it. Uh, if you guys looking into a new vape, by the way, 
the drag X, not the S, the X. Just because, um, for those of you who like how power, the drag X could go up to 80. You just gotta get the coil that does 80. I got a coil that does 60 with this thing, and it fucking works. But when you go to get this, you need to get a battery called High Life Battery. It takes one battery, and for this, here, I gotta show you this. So look, right? This thing pops off. There's a little filter thing. All you do is pop it open, fill it up, close it. That's the coil, and it's all magnetic. And it literally, oops, if I could get it on right. Oh, it goes on. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't do this with one hand. It goes on magnetically. It's pretty awesome. Again, thank you for watching. If you guys are looking into anything, uh, just let me know. I know a couple guys who know certain things. I've been recommended by my boy, uh, Rob Hall. He says that um, I'm the guy who knows guys for if you want to do things. Cornhole, car washing, guns, arrows, paintings doing something with the house, something with the bank, whatever, man. I'll help you out. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, please share my video, send it out. It'll help me a lot to get in touch with most people and just to hear what people's thoughts are. So thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great night and um, just be safe. Weaver out.